today we are going to add a pop-up image to some existing content on our website. First thing, we're going to log into the front end of the website. And then, of course, from there, anywhere you see one of these editor icons, go ahead and click to open the editor. Once all the icons load, uh, you'll go ahead and you'll see this icon here that says um, insert edit image and that's for the extended image manager for the JCE editor. I'm going to go ahead and have this pop-up image right over here on the right top. So I'm going to insert my cursor here right at the top. I'm going to go ahead and click on this to open up the image editor extended interface. Here I'm going to go ahead, if I wanted to, if I had already uploaded the photos, I could just choose them here. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and upload uh, an image. So let's go ahead and click on the upload icon. And new with the version 2 is uh, you're able to drag and drop files here. But also available is the same features that you had in the 1.5, which is to browse. I'm going to go ahead and resize this image for the main image to be 640 pixels by 480 and have the thumbnail. I want to have my thumbnail just a little bit larger though. So I'm going to make 200 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and browse to my local computer and select an image. This particular image is 1024 uh, pixels width. And I think that'll be sufficient to have it resized to about half the size um, that our server will be able to handle that. These days, cameras take photos that are so large that the processor on the server won't be able to handle really large images. So if your image is, say, 2,000 pixels width or more, you want to go ahead and use a traditional photo editing tool on your computer to resize that image before you upload it to the website. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed. And now you can see it's loaded here, and now I have to click Upload. It'll give us a little progress bar as to how it's proceeding, and 100% and done. I'm going to go over here to this Pop-Ups tab, and I'm going to select the JCE Media Box Pop-Up and then click on my tulip image that I just uploaded. JC recognizes that it made a thumbnail of that same image, so it will ask me if I want to use the thumbnail for the pop-up link, which I say yes. And while we're here, uh, you know, we should go ahead and make some search engine friendly title for this. So if I was selling tulips, of course, I would want it to say tulip even probably want to have it spelled right. And over here on the image that's going to be inserted into our page, here you can see it's images, thumbnails, thumb underscore tulips with the alternate text of tulips. It's the dimensions of the 200 pixels like I had asked. It made it proportional. It didn't make it that 90 pixels that it said on the interface, which is great. Like I said, I wanted to align it to the top right, so I'm going to se select the alignment of right. I also don't want to have any border around it, but if you wanted one, you could sure specify it here, but I'm just going to say zero for those browsers that might want to load a border. I'm really not looking for that look on this. I do want a little bit of margin so that the text doesn't go right into the photo, so I'm going to say five pixels. I'm going to make it equal all the way around. It gives me sort of a little preview as I'm doing this here, uh, how it might appear in the article. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it now. Ooh, so far in the uh, editor, it looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and save it and just see what it looks like live. Pretty nice. has a little icon here, so it indicates that it's got a pop-up. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty slick, has my uh, title right there. And that's all there is to make cool pop-up images.